Well, sir, are you sure this is a good movie? They don't even speak in it. What is it called again? I'm sure you will like it. Mm. We're going to watch Modern Times. Charles Chaplin, you know. I do, I do. Oh, look, there are Jimmy and Felicia. Uh. Hey, Jimmy, Felicia. Let's join them. Hey. Hey, hey there. Hey. How are Jimmy. you guys? Hey. Good? Hey, Felicia. How are you? We're fine. Anderson is a little concerned about our choice, but I'm sure he will change his mind. Anderson, my man, are you still worried because this is a silent movie? I'm not worried. I just don't know how we are going to follow the plot without dialogues. Hmm. The first movie with dialogues ever made was The Jazz Singer in 1927. There you are. Oh. <laughs> Until then, actors would express their feelings with gestures. And there were little title cards to help the audience follow the story. <laughs> that's funny. Ah, that's us. Four tickets, please. No Portuguese. Okay. A little help. Here we are. <laughs> Quatro entradas, por favor. Wow. Four tickets, 80 reais, going to the movies is expensive. Yeah, it really is. They have a lot of people to pay. Maybe this is the reason. Okay, come on. I guarantee it's worth it. Let's go. Let's. I think making a movie involves a lot of work. You were right. It is a sector that requires specialized workers. Like actors and the director, you mean? Yeah. yeah, not only them, but also the producer. This person is responsible for making the film possible. Producers are in constant communication with sponsors. I think I would be a very good photography director. You know, they are the people that operate the cameras. Mm -hmm. They are responsible for getting the best angles for each scene. What about you, Glaucia? Me? I don't know. <laughs> I think I would like to be um, a script writer. How? Because they are the ones who actually write the story. I would be the best film editor. The person who gets the movies together for the audience. There is also the sound engineer. He is responsible for all the microphones in the set and for eliminating noises. Don't forget the makeup artists and costume designers. They are responsible for making all the clothes. I love fashion. <laughs> hey, guys, talking about cinema, have you heard of the Lumiere brothers? The same Lumiere brothers that made the film about the train? The very same, Anderson. Claudia, have you ever watched workers leaving the Lumiere factory in Lyon? Yes, I have. It was about an everyday event. It featured workers leaving the factory after a hard work day. And how long this one lasts? A little longer than the first. One whole minute. <laughs> <laughs> After these two movies, I think the world has seen both, the emergence and the growth of the film industry. It is interesting to notice, it was probably the first film that showed work and workers. It was taken in their father's factory. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's almost time to get inside. Let's buy some popcorn. Yeah. 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 You know, I don't like eating popcorn in the movies. Oh, yeah, yeah. Some people get upset with the noise and the smell, but I love it. Me too. <laughs> Me? Three. You got it, man. You're making jokes in English. Way to go. <laughs> so, three medium popcorns and three sodas. I'll have water, please. Don't ask for mine afterwards. Or mine. Don't worry, guys, I don't drink soda. And I cannot have too much sugar in my diet. Remember, I'm pregnant. Okay, okay. So, modern times about the world of workers, huh? Yeah, absolutely. It was one of the most famous Charles Chaplin's films. It was released in 1936 
and it featured the daily life of the workers in the assembly line. And Chaplin played a poor work on this film, right? He had a boss that monitored his work all the time. Oh, yes. The conditions he was subjected to ultimately led him to a breakdown. Okay, okay, that's enough. Otherwise, you will spoil it for me. <laughs> How about getting our seats? Yes, let's get our seats. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to watch the movie. One more thing before the film starts. <laughs> I knew it. Go ahead. This story doesn't sound very funny, but you said it was a comedy. What's funny about getting fired? Well, Chaplin tells us the story in a fun way, but he criticizes the mechanization that the workers are submitted to. It's still a controversial topic today. Yeah, I agree. But let's shush now. The film is about to begin. It was a great movie. Thank you for inviting me. I really enjoyed it. I knew you would. It's such an iconic movie. No wonder this image of Chaplin as a poor worker became so famous. After this movie, many others came along, but definitely it was a landmark. He was an enthusiast of silent movies. Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys, I forgot to tell you. Felicia and I are meeting my friends Marisa and Sibeli. We're going for a girls' night out. Uh, and what about us, Jimmy and I? Don't worry, brother. <laughs> We can have some nice and yummy pizza. How about it? Great idea. So, let's go. Okay. Yep. It was great. We have to do it again. Yes, yeah. we do. <laughs> we can see some more films about workers. What about that? I'm in. But which one? Well, that, my friends, is for both of you to suggest. And for us to agree or to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Jimmy and I will check it and choose the movie. I really think these classic films are good choices. I appreciate learning about movie development. It is great to learn about older times and see how cinema has changed. It. Yeah. Oh, look, there are the girls. Sorry, guys, it's an only girls' night. <laughs> see you tomorrow at the hostel, and see you next week, Jimmy. Bye. Bye, guys. Have fun. See you at the hostel. Okay. Take care, Glaucia and Felicia. Take care. Well, Anderson, let's have some serious pizza now, huh? Mm -hmm.